Hey guys, it's me, Michi. I just wanted to say hi to you and to tell you a little bit about the direction that I'd like to go to um, on my page, on my channel. I I often, you know, go to YouTube and I read my messages, my personal messages and my comments and I thank you so much for being kind and commenting and I appreciate the positive feedback. And I also, I really, really, really appreciate the private messages that I get because people are so open and they don't even know me, which is cool because it's just kind. It really is because they just feel like they want to talk or they just feel like they need to get that off their chest and it's, it's a blessing that you feel comfortable enough to write me and say, hey, this is what's going on in my life. I'm not a preacher. I'm not a professional anything, okay? I think I'm a professional talker <laughs> and I can shop really well. Um, but um, I just said that to say this. I love being able to encourage women, young, old, in between, what have you. Um, I believe that that's a gift that God has put on my heart. I can remember being little, I'm talking about a little kid babysitting at the age of 10 in Germany because I grew up in Germany and um, on a military base and a lady I babysat for, her name was Zena, had three bad kids and her husband was cheating on her and I was 10. I think she was probably about in her late 20s and she would talk to me about their relationship and I would tell her, you don't have to deal with that, you don't have to put up with that, why do you stay with him, you know, and I'm 10. You know, and, and then as I got older, 15, still the same thing, 16, 17, I can remember a pastor's wife telling me back home that her husband was cheating on her and she didn't know what to do and this and the other. And I wasn't even thinking about Jesus, okay? I mean, I would pray, but I wasn't thinking about even living for him. But something in me would like flare up and say, you know, you're more than that. You know, God loves you. This is the pastor's wife of a big church. So I didn't know then what was going on. And I thought that at one point that uh, people thought that I was like their dumping grounds or their trash can because they would come and just tell me all this stuff and I would take it home and it would bother me. But then I realized that this is what I'm supposed to do in some way, form or fashion. So of course, people tell you all the time you should be a preacher, you should be a preacher. I'm not supposed to be a preacher, but I am called to minister to women and encourage. I don't see myself behind a pulpit. I see myself as a regular chick trying to make it day to day and because of the grace of God and his mercy he has afforded me the opportunity to meet people allow them to want to talk to me about things I can reference things in the Word of God or just my life or just things in general or just listen don't always have an answer sometimes people just want people to listen and um, and sometimes that's okay it's just sufficient at that point so I said all that to say this I appreciate you as my subscribers I do I do I do but you are no longer my subscribers yes you no more this relationship is over it is done we are no longer hanging out and kicking it as subscribers and uh, channel uh, owners or whatever the crap my name would be I am now calling you yes you you yes girlfriend you you yes boyfriend you my survivors you are no longer subscribers. If anyone asks me how many sub subscribers I have, I am going to tell them zero. I have survivors, yes you. Even if you haven't emailed me or texted me or whatever, you are still a survivor. Let me tell you why I say that. Because the people that are connected to me want more than just makeup. They want more than just, is that NYX or is that MAC? There's nothing wrong with that stuff, I love it. But I know and you know that there is something deeper inside you that is calling out. And my job is to speak on that. Plus, I'm going to speak about makeup. And we're going to talk about the total woman. So my channel is going in a complete di different direction. I'm working on something that is going to hopefully speak life to you and your situation and to me. So together we can grow and become the women that God called us to be. The woman that we know we want to be. So that way you don't think about, I wish I was like her, or how come my butt isn't big as hers, or how come I can't sing like her, and how come, you're going to turn around and say, I am fearfully and wonderfully made by God, ding, you're not going to care, and it's natural to have some insecurities, but when it becomes a, an obsession, it's a problem, and that is not of God, okay, God told is it Timothy? I want to say it's Timothy, and I'm going to look it up. And I'm going to start hitting y'all with the verses and the, the, the actual numbers, okay? Because I know that like, everyone has time to look.
look through the Bible to find out. But I believe it was Timothy, I'm sure it was, and he was young. He was young, young, young. And he was saying that he was too young to do what he wanted, what God wanted him to do, and that he didn't feel comfortable because of his age, and he just didn't feel qualified. And God told him, don't you compare yourself to anybody. It was either he or Jeremiah. Darn it. He told Jeremiah, he knows him by name. I'm going to find out, and then I'm going to hit y'all with it. Because we, we need to know. This is what our Father is telling us, you know? And I'm going to talk about things that concern me, and I want to see your response as well as what concerns you. And I thank you for messaging me. And if you message me and it's something that you want to talk about personally, we can do so. But if it's something that can be spoken about to a group, I'm going to do a video on it. The reason why is because one message is not just one message. What I mean by that is I got about, I can't explain how many video uh, messages I got responding to my food for thoughts. So many women are going through the same thing you are. I'm tired. I'm in a bad relationship. I don't want to smile. I don't want to live. Um, you know, I live for my kids. I forgot about who I am. I don't even know who I am. If they're happy, then everybody else is happy. But I'm not happy. I'm miserable inside. I gain weight. I can't get motivated. Um, what am I here for? What's my purpose? We're all trying to figure that out, okay? But we can do this. It doesn't have to be that way. God has a plan and a purpose for each and every one of us. Yes, you. Yes, you. Yes, you. He does want to speak to you. He does want to know you. He created you. He created you in love, and you are wonderful. So you are no longer a subscriber. You are a survivor. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to call you guys. I hope that you can hear my heart when I say this, and I ask that you guys pray for me because I'm on a journey. I'm trying to change the face of makeup in the face of adversity. Meaning, a lot of times people think that just because you look a certain way, um, you, you act a certain way. I like makeup, but I love Jesus. He made me. He put me in this package for a reason. And I'm learning that you can have it all. Sometimes people get involved with Christ and then they forget about the regular stuff, you know? Or they get into the regular stuff and they forget about Christ. I want balance in my life. And I hope that my subscribers want balance in theirs. And we can learn and grow together, you know? We can learn and grow together. So I'm asking you as a, as a survivor to take this journey with me and kick it with your girl. And let's see what God can do. Because it's going to be a journey, okay? This time next year, I'm not going to be that same chick. I'm going to be a new chick, meaning I'm going to look back and go, wow, look how far God has brought me. Look what I've learned. Look how I've grown. Look at the character that's come just by speaking positive affirmations, speaking life, taking the word and speaking it, believing it, faith, you know, trusting in him and not in me. And then we're also going to talk about everyday things like what if I did trust in him and I got disappointed and I can't stand to even think about the pain that I went through when I was believing him. That's me. I've been there. I know what that's like. I don't want to talk about God, see God. I've been there. That's me. I'm tired of hurting. I'm tired of bad relationships. I'm tired of not having enough money. I'm tired of crazy people. I'm tired of trifling people. I'm tired of women that just are crazy, that don't really like you, but they hang out with you because they want to get what you have, see what you have, find your flaws, and then take them and put their mouth on you. I'm a survivor. This smile that I wear is real. Okay, this is who I am because he made me that way. I wasn't always smiling, but I'm smiling now. Because even when the enemy tried to kill me, <laughs> God said, not so. She is chosen. But he says the same thing about you. But you have to get to know him to know that that's a real and true statement. So together, let's survive. You guys, let me know. Give me some feedback. Tell me if this is something you're interested in. If it is, cool. If it's not, guess what? I'm doing it anyway because, dang it, this is what I'm supposed to do. you want to be more than this life says you're supposed to be. I love the fact that you're a dreamer, that you're going towards your goals, that you want to be healthy, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, that you want to get everything that God said that you should have. I love it, love it, love it, and together let's go get it. All right, y'all. Bye. I'm amped up. Oh, and I got a new week today. I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> Bye.